the beer posse is out once again. We are at Bainbridge Island Brewing. It's just the girl posse this time, and a cameraman with hair like a girl. Olivia, Penelope, let's go on inside and see what it's all about. Russell Everett, I'm a brewmaster and co-founder of Bainbridge Island Brewing. And I'm Chuck Evan, Russell's dad. Uh, we're from Bainbridge Island. Um, when we were looking for a location to sound the brewery, I was in uh, Ballard at the time, and I uh, was thinking about being the 13th or 14th brewery in Ballard. Uh, and we were looking at the map and going, Bainbridge doesn't have a brewery yet. Why doesn't Bainbridge have a brewery? Bainbridge deserves a brewery. And so we founded the brewery here on the island. I've loved breweries all my life, so uh, that was one of my goals. And uh, Russell decided after homebrewing for about what, 15 years that he was going to open a brewery, so I said, why don't we do it together? I, uh, I had been an assistant brewer uh, in a small brewery, and then I quit that and I went to law school and I became a lawyer. And then I quit that and founded a brewery because that's way more fun. <laughs> so my father's one of those guys that uh, can't sit still and uh, was looking for a you know quote unquote retirement project, <laughs> which is really just a full time job and a half. Um, well, I, I have a little bit of beer envy. I'm hoping maybe you guys would like to share. Katie's joining us now, who was nice enough to bring over a beautiful sampler. What is it that, uh, that's going on? When you walk into Bainbridge, you have several options for your beer experience. We do sampler trays. We have uh, 12 beers on tap. You can come in and grab a sampler four. We have seasonal samplers. We have our winter samplers. We have um, kind of mix and match, build your own. Today we have some of our showcased beers. Whenever you're doing a, a tasting sampling is to start with the lightest thing. Um, and for us that's commuter Kolsch. Uh, it is our German style Kolsch ale. Clean, round, malt feel. Um, it's a very pleasant beer to drink. It's the beer I drink at the end of the day. Um, and when it's hot out. And when it's cold out. <laughs> and in between. And in between. So Eagle Harbor IPA is our number one selling beer. Um, it's one of our flagships that we just led right out of the gate with. Um, last year in the Washington Beer Awards, it took the silver medal for IPAs in the state. Uh, Are you trying to kill me? Yeah, we're going to take a major curve right here. What's the ABV on here? 9.9. .9. Woo, Olivia, this is all you. <laughs> the tallest hill on Bainbridge Island is Toe Jam Hill. Okay. And uh, so this is our annual barley wine. It's spent uh, 364 days in an oak barrel. No uh, Toe Jam in it. Thank God for that. There's not a good <laughs> the high ABV ones I give to Olivia the Elder, and the ones with bugs in it I give to the Beatnik. I like to make uh, weird things when we get a chance. We made a beer with squid ink, Cool Ranch Doritos, Nacho Cheese Doritos, and then we really perfected our Cool Ranch Dorito recipe. Mashed with ramen noodles. We took the flavor packets, both chicken and oriental, put those uh, into the, the beer itself. A shot of Japanese broth and bacon flavored foam miso soup beer. Put a little like sprinkle of green onions on top. We're often asked as a brewery to make a gluten free beer, and uh, as a brewer, my I see it as my job to turn barley into delicious alcohol, uh, and making gluten-free beer is beyond our capabilities, uh, but it is well within our capabilities to make a gluten-fortified beer. So we made a 100% wheat double IPA with vital wheat gluten added to it, uh, which did nothing for the beer other than just put more gluten in it for fun. That was Project Glutinous Maximus. <laughs> The awesomeness here is the uniqueness of Russell's imagination and that people want the crazy fun barrel age and we have the ability to do that. We have the ability to crank out specialty fun off the wall but good balanced every six months. So if people do want to come in and visit, what's the best way to find you online? We obviously Facebook is invaluable. Actually the Washington Beer Commission just put out their brand new website and you can type in the breweries you want to go to and it will map it for you. So Facebook, Pinterest, you know you come to Kitsap and there's 14 breweries on this side and people, where do you go next? What, what do you want to see? And we get a lot of positive feedback. Go to Bainbridge. We're the only brewery here so come see us. Thank you guys for having us in. Thanks. Um, but I will warn
telling you, I'm, I'm not leaving, but I'm saying bye. <laughs>